Well, welcome to this week's Bushel Up. Uh, took a week off last week, uh, attended Tech Hub Live, so uh, a lot to catch up on this week as we uh, start with corn. Uh, things have progressed pretty fast. Obviously, the heat, today's a whole different story as we've got the cool down. Actually, I had to go find a jacket for a little bit this morning, but definitely a welcome uh, relief to get a little bit of cooler weather. Hopefully, it'll bring a little bit of rain here in the next couple days. Uh, but as we look at corn, uh, we're seeing a lot of things out there. Uh, you know, we've kind of made it through that flush of insects. We still need to be watching for some earworm, uh, especially if you had those later planted fields like we talked about. That's where they'll gang up uh, western bean and earworm here. Uh, but primarily, we're through the uh, corn rootworm beetle and so forth. Uh, but we are watching disease very closely. Uh, southern rust has been reported all the way up to the uh, South Dakota-Nebraska border. Uh, continue to see pictures, uh, continue to find it in fields as we walk. Uh, especially those fields untreated. Uh, but I do want to remind everybody, if you did put a fungicide on earlier, that doesn't mean we just get to quit scouting for the rest of the year. Uh, we need to keep watching those fields. Uh, you know, there's a good potential that those uh, fungicides could run out. Uh, maybe some retreatment will be warranted if things fire back up in those fields. So uh, be watching those uh, fields. Uh, tar spot continues to be a concern. It, we're not seeing as many reports as we did earlier. Um, but counties continue to kind of come on board with that. Uh, again, the latency period, that can blow up real fast. It, it can be out there brewing. Uh, we know the warm weather probably slowed us down just a little bit, but now we're back into a cooler phase. So again, uh, we're seeing plenty of gray leaf spot, plenty of common rust uh, out there with the two big ones we're worried about, tar spot and southern. So uh, you look at this corn here, we still have ways to go. You know, we're milking up, we're starting to get some some formation to those ears, starting to get an idea what some yield potential might be. Uh, but obviously the kernel depth on these ears are just still very small. Uh, we got a lot of starch, a lot of, a lot of energy we got put into this ear production yet. And so that means stay on top of irrigation. If this cool weather, if you're a little behind, a good opportunity to catch up. Uh, still seeing some fertigation passes going on. We'll still put another one on here. Uh, make sure we time some of that late nitrogen. Uh, that's something we've been doing the last couple years. It's been uh, a real good tool for us. Uh, so we're very efficient with our nitrogen and, and make sure this crop has uh, its final uh, 30, 40 pounds to, to finish off. Along with Pivot Max, that's another great tool to get some phosphorus and potassium out there. Uh, we are seeing a fair amount of potassium deficiency in some fields this year. Uh, again, that's, that's something we've been kind of seeing as a trend here over the last few years. Uh, soybeans, we look at soybeans. Uh, you know, we're in that into R3. We're still seeing some blooms and flowers out there, but we're, we're pretty much finishing up that vegetative growth stage and that re reproduction. So now we focus on filling those pods, uh, picking up some white mold. I found some white mold actually out here at Aurora, even with fungicide applications. Uh, so be watching for white mold. I've heard a couple other places that popped up. We found it out here last uh, Thursday. Um, pretty low levels, but something we're going to have to keep an eye on and, and pay attention to. Uh, Still seeing some Japanese beetles feeding here on the edge. Uh, still seeing a few uh, bean leaf beetles and stuff firing up. And also a few aphids showing up kind of to the north of us. So again, the name of the game is just keep looking at your fields, keep scouting, stay on top of stuff. Um, you know, a little bit of everything going out. We actually had some spider mites coming in on some edges of fields last week. And so there's a lot to watch on, on, on our crops. Just make sure we're staying on top of things. Use this little reprieve to, to catch your breath. Uh, with the cooler weather, um, get caught up on watering, and uh, you know, we'll see the temperature I'm sure turn back up here in a few days. Uh, but looks like we got a good week, and, and we'll take advantage of it.